Hello, welcome back. This is Kenshin1913, and we are Let's Playing Chrono Trigger bonus episodes. This is, uh, Flames of Eternity. I was gonna fly over the damn sunstone. Anyways, let's go get the sunstone. In the last episode, we stopped King Zeal from resurrecting the Zeal Kingdom. Now we're here to get the sunstone to make sure it all goes to plan. Yes, we were. Sort of. <laughs> Too bad he's not going to. We're not going. You're not resurrecting the Zeal Kingdom. Sorry. Yep, you can't resurrect the Zeal Kingdom. Because it would be a bad idea. The people of Zeal have to slowly, gracefully leave time, you know what I mean? Uh, because we are from the future. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, would you deny the people of the future the right to live, even though we kind of did with other races like the Reptites and the people from the Vanguard? Yeah. Zeal was under Lavos' influence. Man, Sauron makes a good t good point. No. No. Is anyone gonna stop him, or are they just gonna look at him? Probably not enough power in the Sunstone, anyways. Who said that? Oh, Chrono! What the hell happened to you? <coughs> it's the Moonstone once more. Everyone. All of them. What the hell? Oh shit, it looks like Chrono was, uh... Possessed or something. Maybe by the people in that... Maybe by the energy that was at that, uh... End of, uh, wherever. Is Sauron gonna come with us? Alright, so Chrono's back in the group. How cool is that? But I'm just gonna keep uh, this one for now. I guess if Sauron really wanted to, uh, like, be in a great area, he would just, I don't know, maybe go to the future? So we're done here. D O N E, done. So let's head back to uh, Chronopolis. Yeah, reviving King Zeal, what were you thinking? I wanted to correct the untimely death of a good man. Are you gonna save every person who's died unfairly and bring them here to your little god complex hobby? What? You're just jealous of my achievements! And apparently Mel went back to his original clothes. Yeah. Found by the Sea of Zeruvian. King Zeal's words are accurate. Zavos is still 
existed in some form. Where was the planet concerning that? Chronopolis serves as an important function as a lucid protector of time. Yeah, used for good or bad ends. Isn't what I'd name a good end. You were no different there at the end of time controlling them. Who are you talking about, us? Old ones awake? We're just beating some ethics in the Bealthasar's forehead. <clears throat> first things first, when Chrono visited the dream time and fell in the miasma, while well, part of the entity's conscience was copied onto his mind. How Chrono was able to seal the Sunstone's power and prevent the rise of Zeal. Yeah, it's too bad Chrono doesn't have uh, new abilities or anything. The timeline is back to normal. They've been analyzing that thing in the North Cape, and uh, it goes into into an annihilation energy. It's basically the last place of the game. The darkness beyond time. Where all lost timelines end up and become nullified. Pretty cool concept, I think. So why there? Yep. Yep, so that's where we have to go if we want to end the game. We could open, use a time egg to go into. Yeah, so uh, we'll have to go and uh, use this time egg, uh, and that's it. That'll be it. And there's still s some things left to do beforehand. Get a time egg, yay! This thing chrono trigger? Mm. Yeah. It's a heavy situation. And here we can use these rainbow shards that we collected through those uh, dreams, and uh, we can uh, we can actually make bet the best weapons for all the characters in the game. And then here we can buy these things again. So that's pretty sweet. Let's sell all of this stuff. We don't need any of this. We don't need any of this. We don't need any of this. Or this. We don't need any of this stuff. Anyways, I'll just sell all this stuff off screen and come back and and uh, be right back. Uh, no. You know what? Let's talk to Gaspar. Alright, so let's talk to old man Bal, and he's gonna give us some, uh, some, uh, interesting, uh, <coughs> side quests to do before we end the game. And so, in the Middle Ages, there are three volunteers dreaming of becoming knights. A man in this era is lamenting in the disappearance of his son, who works for this facility. A perceptious event is about to take place in 1000 AD, 1 AD accessible through the end of time. Like, you heard in this era, you learned blah blah blah. I don't know how to do that one. Yeah, I know where he is. Yeah, I don't know how to do that one. And then I, I'll eventually figure out that one. Alright, and yeah, so those are some side quests. Anyways, I'll be right back as I sell... Alright, I'm back, gear. and what is this, Rainbow Shards? Actually, let's save it here. And I can create unstoppable weaponry. 
And so who do we want to make this for? There's only, f there's only, uh, f so many people. Let's, let's do <sighs> Robo, um, uh, yeah, what the hell, Robo. And we get the Impenetrator. And let's see what that does. Variable damage based on HP, so that's the Crisis Hand. And, uh, that could be pretty alright. Let's do Chrono. Now we only get, we only get, uh, we only get, uh, three of them right now. And then this, it's not his best weapon. It's not bad either, I guess. Let's see what else we can do. Nadia, we received the, uh, Navi D something or other. This is probably her best weapon. Oh yeah, it says it. It's her ultimate weapon. That's f Wow, that brings up her attack power quite a bit. Let's see what Luca. I think this will probably be, yeah, the, this is the, uh, the Sunstone gun that she makes. And this is, uh, variable... Oh, cuts enemies HP in half. That's kind of neat. It's actually not that good. Oh, well, maybe it might be good. I don't know. So right now, I think... I think right now, Nadia is probably the best. Let's see. Oh, we get a Maximus. Let's see what that's all about. Wow, it's even stronger than this. Holy shit. Alright, so Glenn's getting it. I think a Nadia. And maybe Chrono. Let's see what Magus is. Because obviously Isla doesn't get one because her hands will be her best weapons. And as soon as she gets to level 99 or whatever, she'll get the... And boost power from fallen allies. Hmm. That's, I think that was her, his best weapon back in the day, too. So, um, let's at least make Glens. Definitely Glens. Let's make, uh... Let's make Chronos, why not, right? And let's make... Uh... Hmm... I guess Magus. I'll probably use it in more anyways. Alright. So let's equip the Maximus. The Cronin. Cron... whatever. And this. Blah, blah, blah. So let's sell these things and begin our journey. Let's begin our journey into side quest territory land area. So I'm gonna start off with the, uh, the three, uh, no, 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 no. Hmm. I'm gonna start off with, uh, with that one child who was lost. And look, here's Sargon. So he's here now. How cool is that? Oh, not really that cool, but whatever. Anyways, let's go to 1005 AD. <coughs> and there we will save a boy. If you remember Luca's vision, I don't know if you guys remember Luca's vision. But in her vision, she saved a boy that was over here. So let's put her in the group and save that boy. Save that boy. Save that boy. Mm, 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 mm. Save that boy. Where's the boy? He's in the forest somewhere. I know it. Where's the boy? <coughs> Where is the boy? I know he's somewhere in here. Does Luca need to be in the front? Maybe? I thought he was over here somewhere. Huh. 
I know he's in here somewhere. Where is he? Where is the boy? Did I ever talk to him back in the, uh... In guard, in the, uh... In the square over here? Maybe I didn't. Where's the... Oh, yeah, okay. I did talk to him, but this is an older... I had to revert a state way back in the... A while back. Anyway, so he ran off, and now we gotta follow him. And he's in the forest, if you can remember Luca's, uh... Luca's little dream. And let's come in here and find that boy. Because he's here, I know it. There he is. There he is, and he's running away, and here we are, going to destroy these... These pathetic creatures. Look at Blend's uh, sword. It's 100% badassery. Thank you. What are you doing in this forest? Where are your parents? They passed away last week. And so we have started. Yeah. And now we have started the Orphanage of Luca, which is a very important place in uh, Chrono Cross. As it is, uh, it is typically the place that starts all the badness. Yep. So we'll find kids and we'll bring them here. And he made us an Electra! So let's equip it. And it's a friggin' amazing armor. Neat nano age material patent pending. For for just Luca, obviously. No one else can equip it. So that's pretty sweet. So there we go! That's that one side quest down. Actually, one other side quest that we could have done that Bealthazar really didn't mention because uh because we already did it was the library I mean the museum the museum anyways in the next episode we're gonna do some more side quests as we uh collect more unique equipment for our characters and then we eventually go to the final boss this has been Catcher 1913 I'll see you later bye bye